You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you may on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, Caitlin's Path. So, ladies and gents, let's just go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes of entertain you. Let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I guess that works. In fact, it's probably a better idea. Thanks, Yuichi. Saved by the gong, or in this case, Yuichi's gullibility. If I had let him make the food for the party, all those guests would leave in caskets. I'd very much prefer if my best friend weren't charged with multiple counts of involuntary manslaughter. Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure I can find an old copy of Dad's address book. I might not know all of his friends by name, and but I could reach out to the people he knows from that. An address book? In this day and age? When he just uses his phone's contact list? Dad's terrible with technology, remember? Oh yeah, that's true. He still uses an old feature phone from six years ago. Okay, if you want homemade food to make him feel more at home, you'll probably prefer to host it at your place, right? Yeah, I doubt Dad would want to go out of the house after arriving from a month-long trip anyway. Got it. Should we have a cake? Every party should have a cake. What kind of cake does your dad like? Ah, that's easy. We spent the next several minutes having fun and planning out this little party for Shuichi's dad. In the end, neither of us got much, much work done in our respective clubs. I even got chewed out by Coach because of it. Ah, it's hot! It's way too hot for 5 p.m. on a spring day. I know the weather forecast said we'd have a heat wave that we have a heat wave this weekend, but damn, I didn't expect it to come so soon. I'm so glad it changed into these sweaty clothes and into something more comfy. No for it to be the strong. The sign of June either. Ugh, five fifteen. I've been waiting out here for over ten minutes already. Why is it that when it comes to that tiger, I always sit around waiting for a long time? You witchy son. Ah, okay, good. I didn't see you there. I'll say. I walked, over, I walked all the way over to you and even called you a few times before you answered. Is that so? <laughs> Sorry, I don't function all the way when the weather gets warmer. KSK wrinkles his nose. Doesn't help that you're still covered in sweat. You should really start using the showers after practice. I'm already having a hard time with the heat as is. Don't pile on more stress. Sorry. And by the way, I didn't see you at practice today. I thought you'd gone home early. Nah, I had some things I needed to take care of first. What happened? It's, well, <sighs> I guess it's okay to tell you. KSK looks away and down at the floor. This gesture alone is enough to pique my curiosity. Sure you can, sure you can. What's up? You remember how, you remember how we went to the music store the other day to buy my new mic? Yeah, what about it? Well, I thought a lot about what you guys said. About how you liked my voice and all, so I decided to join the Light Music Club. Oh, that's neat. But wait, what about the Manga Club? I quit that a while ago. Right around the time they insisted I cosplay as a popular visual novel character for our club's booth in the festival. Oh, that could have been fun! It was a character from a homo game. Ah. Wait, you are a character from a homo game. So yeah, I'm done with that. I planned on just going to the Light Music Club to, do, to watch, but they roped me into applying. Did you know that our Light Music Club actually has a band? As in... As in the band members... As in the band members are the only people in the club. That's a bit fishy. Why aren't there more people? Not many people are willing to pick up an instrument and learn it. And that's the minimum requirement to join. Huh. I think you'd be interested in learning guitar at some point. Maybe you could teach me. Case Case scoffs, shaking his head in the negative. Sorry, but I'm in no way qualified to teach someone. What? Why not? Teaching requires balance. D teaching requires patience. A trait that I definitely don't have. I'd probably lose my patience and I'd end up screaming at you for base mistakes. Huh. You don't really look like the type to lose patience that often. You're, you're kidding, right? I lose my patience all the time. I always get irritated in the chords and end up not playing well because of it. Oh, right. Forgot about that. Either way, I ended up spending all my time after class over there. Their band is really interesting. Their vocalist is very talented. She's a senior from Irata's class. Is that so? What kind of music do they make? They don't have any originals yet. They're very good players, mind you, but they're not very good composers. I saw the sheets for some of their attempts, and, well... Bad? So bad. But still, the vocalist's voice. I could listen to her sing all day. It was truly amazing. I'm glad you had fun, and what did they think of your singing and playing? Oh yeah, that, um... Keisuke immediately becomes restless, scratching at the back of his neck and looking away. What? Well, I kinda didn't do anything. What? Why? I got, um, shy, I guess. Shy? You got shy? 
You went into that club specifically so you could sing and play guitar. Well, what would you have? What would you have done? Played. Oh yeah. Well, you're much braver than I am then. Oh come on. I had my eyes behind my hands, taking deep breaths to calm myself. Case Kate, what's the point of you signing up for the light music club if you just got there, just go there to watch? What would you say if June signed up for the tennis club just to watch? Did you just call me Case K? That's what you focused on? Sorry, sorry, it's just that I'm not used to you calling me by my full name. Seriously, if you're going there for the music, then you should, you know, play music. Eh, I'm still not sure on that. I want to, but... Stan, silently waiting for him to continue his sentence, but he continues to stare at me without saying a word. But... I'm... I'm shy. You routinely play tennis in big tournaments, watched by dozens if not hundreds of people, and yet you decide to feel shy about singing in front of four, maybe five high school students? I never said it was a rational fear. Well, good, because then you'd be wrong. Oh, shut up. I'll do it on my own time. As long as you actually do it. You're very annoying sometimes, you know that? I try to put on the most smug grin that I can muster. Oh, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're unbelievable. I try. Oh, by the way, are you going to have someone come pick you up today? Yes, always. Why? Oh, there's nothing major. I just wanted to know if you'd like to walk with June and I part of the way home. I think Shuichi might even join us if June takes too long. Hmm. Case K's nose twitches a couple times. Something it always does when he's deep in thought. I guess I could. They said I had to go home by one of my father's cars. They never said I had to be picked up at school. You really always look for a way to weasel out from under your family's rules, don't you? Always. I hear the sound of approaching footsteps at a hurried pace. We have to turn around in time to see... A tiger huffing with his brow covered in beads of sweat. Yuichi said, I'm sorry it took so long. I lost track of time. Oh, Ruchi Harasan. Hi! Yeah, hi. Are you alright? You look very winded. I'm fine. I didn't notice how much time was passing while I practiced and only stopped when a teacher came by to get me. I ran over here because I didn't want to st didn't want to keep Yuichi-san waiting any longer. Well, at least you're dedicated to your craft. True, but I'd still prefer it if you kept his eyes on the clock every now and then. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It it's fine. It it's just a little hot today, that's all. Well, I didn't notice it much. The piano room has air conditioning after all. Die. What? What did I do wrong? Iwiji-sen has been standing out in the heat since practice ended. After hours exercising and sweating, I don't think he'd like to hear you talking about being in an air-conditioned room. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. I sigh. Even if I'm a little annoyed at him, I can't really stay mad at this guy. It worries me that I'm starting to develop a weakness to him. God, now that I think of it, I'm the same way with Aki. It's fine, don't, don't worry about it. Oh, good. I thought he messed up big time there. It'd take a lot more than that to piss me off. Oh! He's lying, of course. He's incredibly petty. Hey! What? It's true. Since when am I petty? You once went a full day without talking to me because I accidentally spoiled the ending of a movie that was based on a book that was released 40 years ago. That's not being petty. I, I kind of think it is. Well, you too! Who did what? Bah! Suichi shows up out of nowhere, putting a hand on my shoulder and speaking up. Jesus, settle down. Why is everyone deciding to sneak up on me today? Everyone? Did I miss something? Because this was the first time I've seen you getting sneaked up on today. Well, there was Saya a little earlier. So, two people. That hardly qualifies as everyone you know. Oh, shut up. Yuichi Sen is just being overdramatic again. What? Oh, you guys suck. Actually, I agree with Junkun here. Of course you do. Well, anyway, what's up? What were you guys talking about? What did I miss? Shuichi, get this. You were telling me that I, this brilliant ray of sunshine standing before your eyes, am petty. Can you believe this? First of all, brilliant ray of sunshine, dude, get over yourself. Hey, how rude! <laughs> oh, great, now all three of them are cracking up at my expense. And second of all, you are petty. What? Yeah, you get upset and pout for the silliest of reasons. Remember this one time, this was, this was a couple of years ago when I was sleeping over at your place, and you got mad at me after I won every single round of Sidewalk Fighter 2. You then proceeded to make dinner for everyone but me. You told me, I'm sorry, you're already too full of yourself to fit anything else in there. I had to go hungry that night. Oh wow, that's awful! But, but, I was a child! You were 15, you were old enough to know what you were doing. But, but... 
Are you going to do this for the whole walk home? Because if so, then I'd rather just have my car come pick me up here. How rude! Yuichi said, they're doing this on purpose to annoy you. Wait, what? Case and Shuichi finally break character and begin to laugh hysterically, to the point of having trouble catching their breaths. You, you, you... Yes? When, when did you... How did you... Why did you... Ah! Is that supposed to be Japanese? I didn't understand a single word. Ah, screw you guys, I'm leaving. Ah, uh, don't be like that. We're just having some harmless fun. At your expense, of course. The two of them continued to harp on me for the entirety of the walk back home. I've completely lost track of time at this point. All I know is that I've been sitting in the living room glued to the TV since after dinner. Ah, uh, Aniki? The light is flicked on. I reach out with my hands to cover the sudden assault on my vision. What are you still doing up? What do you mean, still doing up? Has everyone else gone to sleep? Yeah, it's 3 a.m. Whoa, really? I look up at the clock on the far wall, and sure enough, it's already that late. I didn't even notice the time passing. Seriously, what are you doing up? Aki yawns, rubbing his eyes. He flops down on the couch, lying, lying the back of his head on my lap and looking directly up at me. I've been watching some footage. Footage? For the first time since he came downstairs, Aki looks at the TV screen. Is that the kid Case K told you about? The Akita? I nod, keeping my eyes glued to the screen. You've been watching videos of him for two weeks. Are you sure you should be obsessing so much about a single player? I can't help but worry. Something about the way he plays just ticks me off. You mean how he plays so much like you? Maybe. I'm not sure. I think I've already rewatched this particular match four or five times. I keep looking for something that's not there. For some reason, seeing this guy play just makes me uneasy. You don't even know if you're going to go up against him anyway. I get the feeling that I will. If we're talking about skills alone and getting rid of all, fa all other factors, I can easily see this guy placing in the top four. In fact, the only player other than me in the prefecture that I can imagine beating him is Kaken. If we're talking about skills alone, Kaken should be better than him, but... I just have this growing sense of discomfort whenever I watch this guy playing. And that's weird. Okay. I look down to see that Aki's staring intently at the TV, also watching the match going on the screen. And what's weird? Well, it's not just that the guy plays like you. Every single move he makes looks like a carbon copy of you. It's as if he's mimicking you while playing. Yeah, I noticed this. This is really creepy. Do you think he's actually mimicking you? I don't know. When I met him, he seemed to already know me. So you're saying that it's possible? Maybe. I'd hope not. It'd be kind of creepy if it were true. He seems to be pretty good. I don't think I could beat him. Well, that'd be a tall order. He's four years older than you. He shrugs, looking back up at me. So, you were beating high school- So, you were beating high school players your, by your first year of middle school, and professional players face people much older than them all the time. Professional players have all at least reached full maturity. You still have the boy of a- You still have the body of a kid again, against someone near adulthood. So that doesn't explain how you did it. Well, honestly, I don't even know all that well. It's not like I was beating high school players left and right. Maybe once or twice. Aki, I think you exaggerate too much when it comes to me. But it's true! Maybe, but, um, how can I put this? You seem like you think I'm the ultimate player or something. Ah, never mind. This is not the conversation I want to be having with my kid brother at 3 a.m. I'm gonna head to bed. You should go back to bed, too. Hmm, sure. I'll just grab a glass of water. That's what I came out here- that's what I came here to do, anyway. I shut off the television and Aki props himself up from my laptop. I think me- I think me get back up. And by the way, Iniki, is it okay if some of my friends from the club watch your matches? I don't mind, but why would they be coming over to, ma to my match instead of yours? I asked them to record your matches from a lot of angles for me. Why? My coach said he wanted us to get videos of other pl players we admire to try and base ourselves on them. So you want to try playing more like me? Yeah. Why do I get the feeling that there's a second doppelganger of me about to be born? I, uh, sure, knock yourselves out. Yay, thanks! I really have to learn to say no to him. Ling ling. Ling ling. Oh god. Key? Aniki! I nearly jump from my seat as a voice echoes loudly right next to my ear. Woo! What? I finally notice Aki standing right in front of me, arms crossed and pouting. You were spacing out again. I've been trying to get your attention for almost a full minute now. Sorry, I guess I'm a little out of it. Aki sighs and rub rubbing the back of his neck. A little? I had to scream in your ear for you to finally notice I'm here. And you have good hearing to begin with. Yeah, about that. Uh, next time, ease up on the screaming, will ya? My ears are still ringing. 
I swear, I can only hear buzzing coming from my left ear. That's your fault for spacing out right in the middle of the living room. He looks up at the clock on the wall, pursing his lips. Why are you up so early, anyway? Your match is only at 9. Right now, it's just 6.30. I couldn't sleep. Yeah, I can tell. Your eyes are really red. Wait, seriously? I look up at the television, staring at my reflection on the dark screen. Ugh! Even on this super dark screen, I can tell that my eyes are very red. You should try to at least take a nap. I have less than three hours before my match. I don't think that'd be a good idea. Better than going to a match suffering from sleep deprivation. But then I'd risk being late. I'll wake you up if it comes to it. It's not like I have anything else to do today anyway. Ah, there it is. Aki is now sulking again, holding his arms tightly against his body and looking down at his feet. Unfortunately, while I got all the way to the semifinals without much problem, Aki lost yesterday at the quarterfinals. Well, at least now I get to watch you play live. Every dark cloud has a silver lining, after all. I can tell that he's only saying that to try and sound positive. But it's easy to see that he's still dejected by it. He's even more competitive than I am, if that's at all possible. I woke up to my little brother, hugging him close to my chest. I'm sorry you didn't make it to day two, Aki, but don't let it get to you, okay? I promise you, you're still going to improve a lot. Aki stays silent, merely shifting a bit in my arms, his head pressed up against my chest. I softly stroke the back, the back, his back and rub again behind his ears, trying to fulfill my part as a gentle big brother who takes care of his little sibling. It's something that I've done for all my life, and frankly, I enjoy doting on Aki. I used to do this a lot back when we were kids, whenever we get sad about our dad being gone. I'd hug him and sing, and sing to him to try and get him to sleep. But of course, the last time I did this was, God, six years ago? Time really flies. After nearly a minute has passed, Aki shifts again. His voice echoes from below my head, tiny and muffled. Aniki? Yeah? I speak at a low voice, trying to sound gentle and encouraging. I can't breathe. Whoa! I immediately pull away from him, lifting my arms up in the air. Aki coughs a few times, leaning against the wall for support. Sorry, I guess I squeezed too hard. The squeezing wasn't the problem. You pushed my head against your chest. You blocked my nose and my mouth. Oh, sorry. It's fine. Aki sighs, straightening himself back up again. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. Yeah, I don't know if you remember, but I used to do that a lot when you were little. I remember. He has a wishful, content look on his face. His tail is even wagging a little. Heh, <laughs> guess you have a better memory than I gave you credit for. Not really, it's just bits and pieces. I have terrible memory, actually. Most of it is fuzzy. Either way, it really doesn't matter right now. Just get to your room and try to wake, try to take a nap. I'll make sure to wake you up in time for you to get ready. All right, all right, I'll try. And thanks, a Aki. Of course, that's what little brothers are for. The sound of knocking echoes through the living room, snapping me out of my daze. I'll get it. Aki shouts from the kitchen and runs towards the entry, the entry hallway. All right, guys and gals, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Gotta get some stuff done so I can play some Dark Tide with some of my friends. All right, everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.